The annual Special Olympics Area Bowling Tournament was this morning here in Tuscaloosa. WVUA 23's Olivia Whitmire was there. She joins us live with the story. Olivia. That's right, Lynn. There were almost 200 bowlers from all over town going for the gold today. One, two, three. Over 180 bowlers took to the lanes Friday morning. Some competing for the chance to move on to the state Olympic Games and others playing just for fun and to learn the game. Students from elementary through high school and adults from all over Tuscaloosa competed. Every child or every adult, every teenager, they deserve uh, to be able to compete and show their athleticism uh, and being able to show what, they're, what they can do. Some of the bowlers prepare year round for this tournament, but they know it's not all about who wins first place. In the end of the day, the scores aren't the most important part, whether they knock down two pins or ten. The most important thing for everyone is the experience. Learning how to um, participate in games as far as bowling, things that we do every day. And so we kind of take that um, for granted. And then for our kids coming out today, just giving them no the momentum, even when they bowl to go to ball, giving them a high five and the excitement they're having on their face. After spending time with their friends, competing and having fun, it's hard to not feel like a winner, regardless of the score. The bowlers who qualified will compete in the Special Olympics state games at Troy University in May. Live tonight in the studio, Olivia Whitmire, WVUA 23 News.